All right, guys, before the video starts, just to let you guys know, I made a new YouTube channel where I'm gonna be reviewing tools only. Uh, the videos are gonna be only five minutes long. Uh, that way you guys see if I recommend the, the if I receive, see if I recommend the tool or if not. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave a link down below. Go check it out. All right, guys, so you guys are probably wondering why we're replacing this condenser coil on this really old system. We didn't, we didn't diagnose it. We didn't do none of that. It was an R unit. It, we were just told to come and replace it. We are about a couple miles away from the ocean. I mean, you guys can see the ocean over there. Uh, but yeah, I mean, this unit should have been replaced. We shouldn't even be touching it, but I mean, it's what it is. Like our tag out and anytime we use uh the torches this company we have to have a fire extinguisher so so i'm gonna go ahead and uh, start raising this in that and then i'm gonna go ahead and grab the nitrogen right there so we can perch with nitrogen but yeah it should be pretty simple guys looking good I make sure I protect the switch and I it sucks because all this copper is pretty fragile already so it's I mean like I said guys we shouldn't even be touching this unit but and then I want to make sure I put tape on these because that's a future robot right there 
I saw on all these there. So yeah, looking good. So I'm a little disappointed because I wanted to use my half inch um, Apion vacuum hose, the shredder cord remover, but I don't got this size fittings, the ones you're able to take off, because this is not your typical. But I don't have the this size uh, shredder cord removers. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do it with the gauges and uh, just do that, do it that way. It sucks, man, because I really wanted to try out my, my little setup. I mean, this thing's still not done. I'm going to go ahead and add some more things to it, but... I mean, you really don't need anything else. So, let's go ahead and hook this thing back up. So, the way I'm going to have to do it is, uh, since I don't have the cap to cap this one off, don't ask me why, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and just put this hose on the vacuum itself. It's gonna be the same thing anyway, so. Oh well. Down, 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 down. I mean, it should work better because I know those are the rapid uh, charging uh, shredder cords. I think that's how they call them. I know a lot of you guys don't like using the uh, micron on these cages, but I mean, I gotta do what I gotta do, so. Man, this thing's dropping pretty quick, so. In the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and start taking everything over there in that corner uh, and then wait for my coworker to get here. And then we'll just rope everything down. Pretty simple day, nothing too major. Bam. Like I said, guys, I know you guys are probably gonna be saying in the comments, oh, you guys should have just replaced that unit. But it wasn't up to us. We were just told to come and uh, replace the condenser. Check out what I just got in my notification. I don't know if you guys can read that. California Old Bay Area County is now under stay, now under stay at home order. All those small businesses, man, they're done. Jesus, that really sucks. If they're already slow and now they're just gonna be way slower. Also guys, just to let you guys know, um, I know you guys might be wondering why I didn't put nitrogen on the system uh, to test it. Uh, and the simple answer is when we recovered the charge, we waited out the charge and it was perfectly fine with the unit specs. So, I mean, I didn't find no reason to even do it, you know what I mean? I mean, we did purge nitrogen through the system while we were brazing, but other than that, that should be good. I'm just gonna go ahead and let the vacuum uh, and micron get to its thing. If I get it around 300, 200 microns, we're good. Damn. Now we got no rubbing. Again.
a two hour drive home. Yeah. Today's like today's like a fourteen, fifteen hour day. Go to my bag, bro, and get a wire nut, bro. I mean, uh, wire this side. This side, yeah. Kind of summer evening. You always want to make sure your thing's tied, bro. Just in case somebody comes behind you, you know? Yeah. That didn't sound right. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't like I, I just don't like it when you, you have those people that put like a thousand zip ties. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if that guy just left. I wonder if he's off. Five hundred sixty-four. We'll go ahead and give it ten more minutes, and uh, that should be fine. Just to double check. Again. All right. So we got the unit running. Fourteen pounds. The fan, of course, is not hitting anything. We're looking good. And then we are not using R22. We are using RS44. I'm guessing that's the proper name for it. Yeah, 44B. I feel like I'm in uh, one of the uh, NorCal Days videos, man. I'm over here in Santa Cruz, so you can see the sunset over there and stuff. <laughs> The vagina out there waiting for me. <laughs> Go up in. Man, this is trying out. Alright guys, before the video ends, don't forget to check out my second channel, uh, which I'll be uploading videos hopefully on Monday. That's going to be the first video. Uh, but yeah, hope you guys enjoy the video. Peace. Back on deck on my fly shit. Uh, really on, really on my shit. Uh, pay some respect.